Today on the Eating on a Dime show, I'm making my all-time favorite of blueberry muffins. Hey guys, today I'm making our world's famous homemade blueberry muffins. They are probably, no, they are our most popular muffin recipe on Eating on a Dime. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Carrie and with eatingonadime.com. If you would like the recipe, you can go to eatingonadime.com and search homemade blueberry muffins, or you can grab the link directly to the recipe below. Okay, Woo. let me know your favorite kind of muffin and if you've ever made homemade muffins below. Okay, step one, look at the recipe. I'm literally just following what it tells me to do. My favorite part about this recipe is that it's a one bowl recipe. So, well, I mean, it's a measuring cup and a bowl recipe. So you don't have to like do wet ingredients, dry ingredients, all these things. It's really, really simple. So if you're new to the baking world, then this recipe is for you. So here we go. Okay, so let's get going, friends. Step one, we're gonna do some flour. I have about one and a, not about, because with baking, you gotta have good measurements. I have one and a cup, one, one and a half cups of flour, easy. Then we're going to do, so what we are doing is we're adding all the dry ingredients into my mixing bowl first. So then we're gonna do sugar, which is three fourths of a cup. Then we're going to do, I have in my cute little bowl, we have some salt and some baking powder. I want to make sure I was saying it correctly. Then we're just going to whisk these little dry ingredients together. The reason you want to do that is you want to make sure that salt and that baking powder, like, you know, mixes through your flour. If you were to add the wet ingredients now. Okay, then let's see. We're going to take a measuring cup that holds at least a one cup that holds at least the one cup because we're gonna add our vegetable oil, which is a third cup to this, okay? We're gonna add some vanilla. No, we're not gonna add vanilla yet. Sorry, scratch that. We're gonna add an egg. Oop. Get out of there. Then we're gonna take our milk and what it says is you're going to fill this up to the one cup line on your measuring cup, which I know is kind of confusing. It ends up being about a third to a half a cup of milk, depending on how big your egg is. And this is kind of the, the secret to getting this awesome recipe, making this recipe amazing, okay? Eyeball it. Oh yeah, that's why I love my glass measuring, not spoons, these are, what are these things called? Measuring cups, my glass measuring cups because you can see the exact line of it. This is a two cup measuring cup, but they do have one cup so you can do as well. So then we're going to whisk this together, right? Yeah, oh, and add the vanilla. Now we're gonna whisk this together. So see how it's doing like wet and dry, but it's not really because you're doing it in the measuring cup. You see what I'm saying? Do, do you see it? Are you feeling it guys? So you don't have to do a lot of crazy measuring and washing. Boom! Give me a heart, friends, if you like the easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh, I almost broke a dish. We interrupt this broadcast with a broken dish. We should clean up my mess and stop making a, uh, you know. Okay, so now we're going to combine these together. Boop. And mix it up. And then guess what we're going to do, Christina, next? But we're going to do, what are we going to do to the blueberries? Fold them in. We're going to fold them in. <laughs> fold them in, David. Okay, so I'm just combining the wet and dry ingredients and they're going to, it's going to be a thick batter. That's okay. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. You must sing. Okay, so let me show you my batter. So far, so good. Then we're gonna take blueberries. You can do fresh or frozen. I like to do frozen. The reason I like to do frozen is I feel like they will hold up better when you bake them instead of just become like mush. So I have a cup of frozen blueberries and then we're gonna fold them in. These are some big old blueberries. 
but fresh will work too. Be really gentle so your whole batter doesn't turn purple, even though mine's starting to. See? Done. Give me a heart. Okay, so now we're gonna go and we're gonna put these in our muffin thingy mabobbers. What is this called? Muffin pan. Muffin tin. Thank you, muffin tin. Man, I can't talk to you guys at all. Okay, so we're going to, this is for this recipe is for exactly 12 muffins. You can line them. You could just spray your muffin tin with like nonstick spray. That would work too. You could use a silicone muffin pan holder. Muffin, what, oh my gosh, Carrie. Like, you know what I mean. You get the gist, guys. I want a little less yellow. I feel like, I just don't know if the yellow goes with my blueberries. What do y'all think? We should make blueberry lemon muffins. Right. Put it on, write it down. Write it down. Write it down. Guys, if you're confused on where the recipe is, go to eatingonadime.com, type in blueberry muffins, and you can't miss it, guys. This recipe has five stars. People love it because it's so stinking easy. You go to the store and buy the mix. This is just as simple to make. Okay, so now we're gonna fill these up about half full. Let's see if I can do this on the live without making a mess. I feel like I need to get like a spoon. I'm back. So now we're going to scrape this in. I mean, I think you know how to put this into your, what's this called? The muffin thingy my bubbers. Boom. And that's it guys. We're going to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. These are going to take about 15 to 20 minutes in the oven. Something fun that you can do on them is right before you put them in the oven, you sprinkle the top with some regular sugar and it'll give it that pretty sparkly look when they come out of the oven. But you want to do it before you bake them. Make sure, yes. So you put this, you sprinkle the sugar on. Here, let me show you. Let me do this. Let me finish this and then I'll show you the sugar. Sugar, sugar, uh, 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 uh. Everything's better with some sugar. And that is why I'm a little fluffy. Because <laughs> <laughs> everything's better with sugar. Did y'all catch on? Mm -hmm. Okay. You could also, guys, if you didn't even want to make these into muffins, you could just throw these in a 9 by 13 pan and bake them and it would be like baked blueberry pancakes. If you're just feeling extra lazy that day, I think that would work great too. You have lots of options with a simple recipe. You can even top it with like a brown sugar streusel. We have, um, if you search for applesauce muffins on our website, eatonadime.com, we have a delicious streusel top that you could put on top of these as well. Just go there to grab it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go back and add the rest of the batter to everything, to the ones that I kind of cheated. You know, they got they got gypped a little bit of the delicious batter. Done. Almost done. Okay, I think we're doing good. So now, last one. I'm gonna give this a quick, Shake you down. I'm gonna shake it down. Then I'm just gonna take a pinch of sugar and I'm just gonna sprinkle it on top. You could even do like a fancy sugar, but I'm just using regular sugar. You don't have to have anything fancy on hand. Done. Off to the oven they go. Oh. Okay, guys, that's it. That's how easy it is to make. Go to eatingonadime.com, search homemade blueberry muffins, and you can do this too. Of course, if you are watching on Instagram and you make them, make sure you tag us at Eating on a Dime so that way we can share it, share your awesome creations with our readers. So you guys have a great day and go make some muffins. Bye friends.